I'll be giving you three powerful strategies to help you improve and increase your emotional intelligence. If you've been following me by now, you should know what emotional intelligence is and how to practice it. If you don't, uh, there are a lot of videos in the channel. I'd like you to go there and watch them. It will help you. Today's video is about how to improve or increase your emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is being smart with your emotions, right? Being smart with your anger, being smart with your joy, being smart with your sadness, being smart with your frustration, being smart with your happiness. And that means in the midst of the emotion, you are able to choose what to do and do the things that you would really, really love to do rather than do the things that you would regret. Meaning that the emotion is not overwhelming you to the extent that you're making terrible choices. But how do you improve and increase this skill in your day-to-day -day life? I'll be giving you three powerful strategies to help you improve and increase your emotional intelligence. The first one is what for awareness. The second one is how for intentionality. And the third one is why for purposefulness. If you practice your emotional intelligence with these three strategies that I'm going to be explaining, there's no doubt about it, your emotional intelligence would grow. The first step to improving your emotional intelligence is to start practicing being aware. Yeah, being aware. And there are three things that you have to constantly be aware of. The first one are your thoughts. You have to begin to notice the thoughts that are flowing through you. We think about five to 600 things per minute, about 10 per second. How many are you aware of? So here we deploy the what. What are you thinking? What are your prevalent thoughts? Are they helping you or they are working against you? Do you have more constructive thoughts than destructive thoughts? Or do you have more destructive thoughts than constructive thoughts? You need to begin to notice the thoughts that you're thinking in order to improve your awareness so that you begin to improve your emotional intelligence. The second thing you need to start noticing in your day-to-day -day life if you want to improve your emotional intelligence is your emotions. What are you feeling right now? What did you feel when you were talking to someone in the office? What are you feeling when you're about to send the mail? What did you feel when you finished sending the mail? Are you attuned with your emotions? Do you know when you're feeling sad? Do you know when you're feeling angry? Do you know when you're feeling irritated? Do you know when you're feeling happy? Are you aware of yourself in the midst of the emotions or you're just on auto run? And what are these feelings helping you to achieve? Are these feelings helping you to achieve good things? Are they helping you to achieve bad things? If you want to improve your emotional intelligence, then you need to begin to wake up in the midst of the emotions that you're feeling and know the reason behind every emotion that you feel. If you continue to practice this, your awareness will continue to grow. Now you know that you need to be aware of your thoughts and you need to be aware of your feelings. The third thing that you need to be aware of constantly are your actions. Are you aware of the actions that you're taking? Are you aware as you're taking them? Or do you get into awareness after you've taken the actions? And here again, what? What actions are you taking? What are they helping you to achieve? What are the results of your actions? Are the results the results you really, really want? What are the results you're getting from the actions you take with your children? From the actions you take with your colleagues? From the actions you take with your superiors? When are the results you're getting from the actions you're taking with your spouse, from the actions you take on the road in the office? You need to start being aware of all of this as you begin to notice your thoughts and notice your feelings and notice your actions, your awareness will begin to grow. And as you know, awareness precedes transformation. And this awareness will begin to help you to understand who you are, to know yourself and then begin to see yourself at the beginning of this practice, you would most likely be aware after you've thought, after you've felt, and after you've acted. However, if you continue to practice it where you are noticing these three elements, you will be aware of your feelings in the midst of it, and then you will be aware of your actions just before you take them. That is a sign that you are improving your awareness. Now, not everybody does this. If you are one of the few people that start doing this around you, you will be one of the superior personalities. 
to improve your awareness. So the second strategy is how for intentionality. The how gives you the opportunity to see more than one option. And that makes you more intentional. You have to take a pause before you do anything. One second pause, five second pause, one hour pause, one day pause. I mean, I don't know the situation, but whatever situation you find yourself in, there's an appropriate length of pause that is required for that situation. So take the pause and ask yourself, how should I do it? Now you're thinking before you act. The third strategy to help you improve your emotional intelligence is why for purposefulness. And this is very powerful because a lot of people act without a reason. They express without a reason, reprimand without a reason, they reply the mail without a reason. They do a lot of things without a reason. For those who practice emotional intelligence, there has to be a reason, a noble reason why you want to do what you want to do. And so why becomes very important here. Why do you want to reply the mail the way you want to? Why do you want to reprimand the child the way you want to? Why do you want to start the meeting the way you want to? Why do you want to express to your spouse the way you want to? Why do you want to eat that thing that you're about to eat? Do you want to eat it because of the feeling or you want to eat it because of your health? Do you want to reply the mail because of what you feel or you want to reply the mail because you want to satisfy the customer or you want to achieve the vision of the organization? Why do you want to reprimand the child the way you want to? Do you want to reprimand the child because of the way you feel or you want to reprimand the child because you want the child to grow into a man, into a woman that fits into the society? Why becomes very important here. There's nothing as interesting, as lovely as you doing things for a reason, for a noble reason at that, instead of just acting. Using why for your actions helps you to be purposeful. And if you are one of those people that understand your purpose clearly, then you use that purpose as a standard for all the actions that you want to take. Your life will be so fulfilling that way. Now I've given you three powerful strategies to help you improve your emotional intelligence. The first one is what for your awareness. The second one is how for intentionality. And the third one is why for purposefulness. If you continue to increase your awareness, your intentionality and your purposefulness in your day-to-day -day life, there's no way your emotional intelligence will not continue to increase. Like I said, not a lot of people do this. So if you start doing it, you would differentiate yourself in your environment, in your office. People would know that there's something about this person. He knows exactly how to manage himself, how to comport, how to talk, how to speak, how to express. There's just something good about him. They will know that it is your emotional intelligence that is giving you that employee brand, that is giving you that lovely definition as a spouse. So go out there and practice these three steps and continue to increase your emotional intelligence and have a more fulfilling, rewarding and satisfying life.